It is my pleasure to welcome everyone to the 2022 Mount Monganui Intermediate Prize School, where we recognise the successes and achievements of our students for this year. On the stage this afternoon are Melissa Nelson, our principal, Debbie Howe and Renee Thurston, they are part of the senior leadership team and will be sharing the MC role with me this afternoon. I'd also like to welcome Lee Martin, who is our Board of Trustees Chairperson, and the BIT members, Kate Burns, Rose Gilmore, and Dan Lee. To start off this afternoon, it is my pleasure to invite Ms Nelson to address the Assembly. Inga manas, inga rio, inga tarangu maha, tihei mori ora. Ko maura te maura, ko uru tarangu tuku awa, ko tarangu te moana, ko hiri atu kahia te marae, ko Nelson, Roa, ko Hayward, ko Kupano, no katikati hao, ko Ms Nelson tōku hoa. Kei a hau te tūmuaki o te kuru taku waina o maua. Tino Miharu Aho, ki te tū, ki mua i a koutou, i a whānau i tēnei kura. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou tā tōa. 
The final days of the school year have arrived, and what a great year it has been. Whilst COVID has continued to play a part on the world stage, it has only had a minor role here at Mount Moon Early Intermediate. After two years of cancellations and a whole lot of FOMO, it has been truly great to have a school year that has felt almost normal in terms of being able to hold the events and activities that make lasting memories for our students. As always, it has been a busy and productive year at NMI. If you read my news interview this week, you will have seen a long list of accomplishments that we have achieved in 2022. It's too anonymous to share with you today, but I do want to touch on a couple of highlights. In August, the Youth Lives Matter Group held a fundraiser at Mount Flyers to raise money to provide essential counselling services for our students here at school. Over $85,000 was raised, and as a direct result, we've been able to employ an experienced counsellor as well as a youth mentor to support our students in 2023. <laughs> our school is indebted to the incredible group of people who worked tirelessly to support us in the absence of government funding. The support of you, our community, the support you showed us on that night and have continued to show us during the school year is something I am both humbled by and incredibly grateful for. Another highlight in 2022 has been the collaborative creation of our new school vision. Wokoya te kākaro ki a kōwai. This means nurture the seed and it will blossom. We have a new motto, ki a mōwo e tū, which means stand proud and prominent like our mountain. And we have new coastal values, ako, manaki, pono and tuakiri. In 2023, we will be rebranded so that our new vision, motto and values are clear and visible in all aspects of Mount Rinnelli and Tlingit. As always, I'm incredibly proud of our students, our staff and our community. Our school continues to punch well above its weight, providing a student-centred curriculum, outstanding teachers and supportive, inclusive environment for our young people. Our team goes above and beyond to offer the best possible education for our students and I sincerely thank the teaching staff and the support staff team for all that they do to make EMI a cool place to learn and thrive in. As is often the case at this time of year, we must feel well for fabulous staff members. Sam Murphy is leading us to complete his teaching qualification after working for us as a highly skilled and very valuable learning assistant. Sam is a calm, steady and warm way with students and has been a valuable asset to both the children he has supported and the teachers he has worked with. We wish Sam all the best and hope to see him again when he is a qualified teacher. Quinton Norman is leading us to take up a role at Susanna Bear School in Papamore. Quinton has been a real asset to us since taking the helm and final report earlier this year. Quinton has worked incredibly hard for his class as well as providing excellent programs in the classroom. You can also find him on the sports field most lunchtimes because he enjoys beating their kids at football and basketball and any other thing involved at all. Thanks for the great job you have done for our community. Cherie Angleton is also leading us after a great year in Fano too. Not all teachers have the heart for students that fire Shireen does. Thank you, Shireen, for always getting 110 percent everything you do. You know your students inside and out, and they have been fortunate to have such a caring, dedicated, and, and talented practitioner as their higher form. We wish you well as you take some well-deserved time to spend with your young family, and we would love to see you back at NMI when the time is right. And Mrs. Christine Pierce. Christine is retiring after teaching at Mount Lumenoe Intermediate for 20 years, and most of you will know her as our passionate and dedicated music specialist. In the years at our school, Christine has taught thousands of students, imparting her skill and deep love for all things music. Many bands, orchestras, and musical groups have benefited from her dedication, her patience, and her desire to get other musicians an opportunity to trigger a lifelong love of music. On behalf of our whole NMI Fano, I thank Christine for the many years of service and commitment to our school. We all wish her well in her well-earned and well-deserved retirement, 
and we look forward to hearing about her new adventures when she becomes the mayor for the first time in 2023. To our students and our whanau, as you guide your students, or your children, sorry, in the next step, be it into year eight or into year nine, I'd like to talk, take a couple of minutes to talk to you about wind. A few years back, scientists got together and created what is called a biosphere. In short, a biosphere is a miniature version of our planet, constructed by scientists so they can study how planets' living systems actually work. The long-term plan is to have a biosphere in space. Learnings from this tiny planet enable scientists to innovate and come up with new research around the growth of plants. But as with life, one of the most important things a scientist learned came about by complete accident and it related to the role of wind in a tree's life. Because of the perfect conditions created in the biosphere, trees grew faster than they were in the wild. This was quite exciting to the scientists. That was until the trees started to fall over. It took a bit of time for scientists to work out why. Surely when you give a tree all it needs, give it perfect conditions to grow in, it should grow tall and strong, right? It turns out the one thing that wasn't in the biosphere was the one thing trees actually need to allow them to stand tall and not to fall over. So why? Why do trees need wind? Well, when trees and plants grow in the wild, the wind constantly keeps them moving. This causes a stress in the wooden load bearing structure of the tree. And so to compensate for that stress, trees manage to grow something called stress wood. The stress wood usually has a different structure and is able to position the tree where it can get to the best light. This is the reason why trees are able to to contort themselves and grow in all sorts of strange shapes. It is also what helps them to stand up and weather whatever mother nature throws at them. So what can we learn from this? More than ever before, our young people need to face and solve challenges. They need to do this themselves sometimes to develop resilience and grit, just like the trees. Our young people need wind. And so where do we come in? Well, Fano, it's our job to prepare our children for the path, not the path for our children. Don't try to sweep the path so that your children have nothing in their way. Don't always rush in when they encounter challenges. Don't always drop off your kids' lunch when they forget their lunchbox. Don't always make everything perfect. And see. See the challenges that your children face as ways in which your children can grow. See the challenges as ways that will teach your child what it takes to live in the world and what it takes for them to be like the trees that grow strong and resilient. To our wonderful students, your challenge is to be problem solvers. Do not see mistakes or hard things as bad. See them as ways in which you can learn. My challenge to you is to take responsibility for the things you do have control over. Don't be afraid of a little wind. Keep growing tall and strong. When you need help, ask for it. We've got your back, and so do Mum and Dad. And like our new vision says, we will nurture you and help you awesome. <coughs> to our new rates, thank you for being a wonderful group of awesome young people. We have thoroughly enjoyed watching you grow and develop in your two years with us. We are proud of what you have achieved at EMI, and we know that you are ready for college. Hold your heads up next year. Be proud and resilient. Keep pushing your learning limits and be open to new opportunities, new teachers, and new friends. We believe in you, and we will watch you in the years to come with interest, pride, and love. To everyone in our EMI Fano and our community, have a happy, relaxing, fun and safe summer break. Put those screens away and enjoy some precious family time. We wish you all a Merry Christmas and we look forward to welcoming back our year sevens as you ace on the 31st of January 2023. Merry Christmas everybody. Lord Allah, Tina Koto.
to the stage to present the awards to the following students from Final One. Kyla Stanley, Chase Davies, Lucas Bryant, Ellie Kishore, Alana Kormak, uh, Amaya Messina, Barry Buck Buckley, Crystal Hill, and Charlie Barlow. What I will do is I will um, name... Come over here, Cam. Let me show you. Uh, I will name the child and the award, and they'll come over, and if you can hold your applause um, to the end, that would be fantastic. Achievement in English, Kyla. Achievement in mathematics, Chase. Attitude and effort, Lucas, Ellie, and Eleanor. Most improved, Amaya, Barry, Citizen of the Wall, to Crystal, unfortunately she is not uh, with us today, and the best all round student in the final one, Charlie. I'd like to invite Shereen Appleton to the stage to present the awards for the following students from Fun. Hayata, Lexi Leslie, Mel Milford, Esme Hopkins, Charlie Kay, Emma King, Cora Rosemeyer, Ace Williams, Zach Hunter. Achievement in English, Ashley. Achievement in Mathematics, Lexi, who is uh, not with us today. Attitude and Effort, Mila, who is also absent. Here's Mike and Charlie. Most improved students, Emma and Cora. The Citizenship Award for Pano Two goes to Asin. And the best four round students, Zach.
And the common stream is this kind of called the pilot rules. Lily Hecker, Leah Hecker, Phil, Kimsley, Joel, and Amelia Dance. Most improved students, Kingsley and Leah. Actually, just hold it there, Leah. Sorry, Kingsley Temple. The Citizenship Award goes to Amelia. Attitude and Effort Award, and also the most improved student, to Leah.
I would like, now like to present the first of the speakers of the awards and invite Rhiannon Swift to the stage to um, hand out the awards to dance and drama. <coughs> so these students come from a variety of classes, and I'll just go through these two students who come and wait to the side. Uh, Mila Mool Font, Greta Wegstar, Jacob Nantai, Maya Labone, uh, Hude uh, Padawera, Jesse Kingston Smith, Maddie Todd, Quinn Cranham, Lucy Bayes, JJ Abdina. So for this first awards, uh, the Year 7 top student is Mila. Mila's not here today. Highly commended, Year 7 students are Gressa, Jacob, Maya, and Kudo. From our year eight students, our top dance and drama student is Jesse Kingston. Highly commended are Maddie, Quinn, Lucy, and JJ. We hope the year eights will continue their achievement and be chosen secondary schools, and the year sevens will raise the bar even higher in 2023. Our year eight students, our top year eight student is Max. And highly committed students are Noah, Isabella, Nevada, and Finlay. The technology world is forever evolving. If you need help with your time or any of these other students, you probably need to help. Let's get them a round Attitude and effort we have, Victor, Aiden, and Ava. 
almost an improved because some of them are and she got it. For citizenship, we have Karis Gordon. Woo! And the best all round student goes to Shamar Gordon. <laughs> Thank you. 
achievement in mathematics. Ethan. Attitude and effort, Yasmin, Danielle, and Ayla. Most improved, Zach and Peyton. Citizenship, Lexi. And best all round student, Alani.
year eight got student, Hazen Stubbers. I needed Eden, Pavino, Zara, and Ellen. Well done, dear. Up and out. Scarlett, 
kalangan NHB Kapitulo. So the thing, uh, uh, sorry, the elephant in the woods, so the hope, press, alarm, alarming, sorry. Most improved awards to the Lucas Savannah. This citizenship award goes to Scarlett. <laughs> Achievement in English and Mathematics, Alicia. And the best all round student, Planet. Thank you, Fano. So, now I'd like to invite uh, Kai Clare to present the awards for Fano 23. The following students will come forward Charlie Palmer, Toby Gorman, Liam Baker Campbell. Quinn Bartman, Santos, Lorette Silva, Bailey Moore, Matteo Montserrat, Isabella Peterson, Emily Lyons. <coughs> so, uh, achievement in English is Charlie. Uh, she's away. Uh, she's in the minutes of Toby. And it should be put forward to the Liam Quinn in Santos. Most of the pro students, Bailey and Tad. Citizenship Award, Kyle Bell. Achievement in mathematics in attitude method, Ava. Other attitude method awards go to Noah and Miles. Most of the students, students, Cindy and Sophie. The citizenship award for Final 24 goes to Bella. This is four rounds to Jay. Thank you. 
Tani, was believed to be two co-parental leadership was awarded to Ariki Jacob and Pearlana Ueli. The Lions Citizen Trophy is an immense award to be acknowledged. The 
criteria you impose, being fruitful, accountable, responsible, entreating others clearly. Rose to a would you please come forward to present the support? The student who will receive this award is selfless and normally chooses others over themselves and does so in a quiet, unassuming manner. There are many little task connections that the student takes part in to benefit their peers. For example, doing little jobs, volunteering to help, the tidying up to provide an advice and classroom. With such an approach, this student sets a whole, the whole group up to success. This student displays integrity, encourages others to do the same. She will discuss outcomes in class activities and, is, and always suggests or makes the appropriate decision. She is measured and fair and uses her and uses and others and uses her and model themselves on her behavior. This student is very discerning about the needs of others. She is particularly empathetic and understanding. She will ask for teachers' thoughts on, on individuals and how every day school can be better for us all. She's open and is always helpful and shows great maturity. She has earned respect from her classmates and peers because of her kind and inclusive nature. The student is a strong participator and contributor in Fano 14. She often takes the lead in organizing others for inside and outside activities. She's very receptive about individuals, ensuring teams are even, that rules are understood, and that some, that some activities are modified to make it more suitable for all students to be involved. She has a strong, strong sense of justice and believes in playing in, a, in an even playing field. This year's Lion Citizen Project recipient is Mila Willerson. Mark the academic excellence. 
Lenata, would you please come forward to present the Year 7 Academic Awards for 2022? The Year 7 Dalton Trophy this year is going to get tired of these, so it's just Sam Cameron. Yeah. Sam Cameron.
the student is a high achiever with their livable weight above in all areas of the curriculum. They display strength in their methods where they achieve merit and they are part of a problem solving challenge. They also represent a fair house in the school state finals. This student displays excellent leadership in everything they do. They are a class counselor and it's in the leadership camp. They go out of their way to ensure others are okay and display empathy consistently while still having a great sense of humor. As students are stubborn and follow our personal values, this student is alongside their peers, supporting and encouraging them. They have the ability to uplift people around them and make them feel valued. This student is open and can complete their giving heart, gives the school market a very good student arts practice, and naturally can read and be still proud in the aspects of their learning, such as in their speech. This student has represented the school and district in a variety of events, such as Tone Under 14, Rutolo, NIPC Teaching, the Bank of the Base, NMI Team, Sports Camp, A4 Polo, Sylvia's.
and keep on giving your attendance at our 2022 celebration. We hope you have enjoyed being part of our prize team. Students, please remain seated as our parents, our parents, if you could exit that door or that door, that would be really helpful. And students, if you could stay where you are.